Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I know I've been gone for maybe for a few days now, and I'm really sorry about that. Um, sorry, the train's going on. Um, I'm gonna try to talk over them, but today I want to basically do a story time on my experience with dealing with bullying. Um, and this is not relevant to whatever is happening right now. I just felt like this is something that I would want, I would want to talk about now. <laughs> I just feel. Um, so, as a child, I have been bullied, um, either for like, because people thought I was weird, or how my family situation is different, or how I, or how, um, I don't know, for my looks, or what I, you know, just the way that I, I was, or the way that I am, really, um, so, I guess, it, I, I guess you could say it started when I was about three, and that's when I realized that I'm not like everybody else, and I wanted to be normal. For, I mean, I guess I, I wanted to be normal for so long, and I guess now that I'm older, and I, I know I'm I'm 22, so now, and so I know that nobody's, nobody's normal. Nobody in life is normal. We're all different. We're all a little weird in our own way. And that's okay. That's okay. And I learned that the hard way. Um, but, I know I have some flaws in me. And I've adjusted to a lot of them. Um, I've adjusted to, like, if you see my hands, right, so, yeah, my hands are not, like, you see, like, the fingers, like, there's a story, there's a story behind that, but we can, you know, if you guys want to see that, if you guys want to hear about that, I need to get at least a hundred likes on this video, like, please, like, so, you know. Um, that's a story time for another time. You guys give me 200 likes, alright? Um, but listen. So, alright. Also, so as I got older, I got bullied in middle school and high school. In college, because it's college, I don't get bullied. But, I mean, people don't really like you in college. They really don't like you, and they will tell you, oh, I don't like you. I mean, some may tell you, some may not tell you. But if they don't really tell you, then they're just, I don't know, whatever. Um, I feel like, how should I say it? I don't know. Like, I wanted to be like families who have a mom and dad. And to know that I was loved. And, I mean, I realize that now, like, I don't have, I have parents. Of course I know they love me. They're not together, but I know they love me. And I kind of wanted that, like, I wanted that idea of a perfect family. Because, you know, I would see, like, a lot of people from my school, or, like, in general, that have moms and dads and they live in one house and I'm like, wow, they're so lucky because they, you know, their parents love each other enough to actually, you know, be together and work through, work through their problems. I'm not being petty towards my parents or whatever it is. I love my parents. Shout out to all of you. I love you. I love you. I love you. But, um, you know, I did feel hurt. When I didn't grow up as a kid, I just felt like nobody really loved me enough to stay with me. I just felt so. When people would call me weird and bully me and all that stuff, I just. 
I never really, I never had a way of showing it that I was hurt, but I was hurt. I guess you could say that being bullied has changed me throughout my life. I mean, it made me who I am today. I guess you could say it made me stronger and wiser, but it also caused me some issues. And when I say issues, I don't mean like, oh, well, she's she must be an alcoholic or something, or something like that. No, I'm not. But I do have anxiety and depression. And I don't think it's, I wouldn't say it's because of the bullying. I would say it's because I never opened up about how hurt I was about everything happening in my life. I mean, I did when I was like three and four. But then once I started, like, um, realizing more about my family and, like, where I came from and all that other stuff, you start to realize, like, oh, well, there's a lot more of me than what I thought. And so, it just, you know, I never really, I don't know, I, it just hurt me so much. And so... I, I just hate, sorry, I'm about to get emotional, um, it just really, like, killed me, cause, I just, cause I remember, like, growing up, and I would see, like, my cousins, and sometimes I feel like, I was a role model for them, I was, Whoa. I was a role model for my cousins because I'm older and so you know I hate it because I have an older cousin who's obviously you know the sister to my young cousins but and shout out to them I love you guys so much and shout out to my older cousin I love her too I'm not going to name any names because I am not, you know, I don't have any legal action to do that. But what I will say this is that I'm, I just, I was like an older sister to them, I would say, even though I am their cousin. But I loved them so much and I felt like I was there for them and I remember like when they were born and when I saw them, I just felt like Part of me wanted to protect them. I, I just brought myself back. Um, well, listen. Um, but yeah, I just felt, I just felt like I want, I feel like I had to do everything, not for them. I don't want to say I want to do everything for them. I mean, they're older now. They're, they, you know, sometimes I feel like people don't need me anymore because they can do things on their own. And, I don't know, I just... It's hard. It's very complicated. Life is... Life feels so broken down sometimes. And, I don't know, because I've been doing this since I was little. But I just don't show my feelings sometimes. I, I'm pretty sure it's from the depression. But, either way. It's whatever. Um, and for those of you who might ask, yes, I see a therapist. I do. And I very much like it. It's good. It's good. It really helps. And if, if, you know, and don't be ashamed, like, for those of you who are being, like, bullied, you know, just remember that, remember that you can always talk to someone about it, whether it's a friend, whether it's a family member, whether it's your therapist, your counselor, well, I'm pretty sure your therapist is the same thing as counselor, but, you know, it's two different things, um, whether it's your social worker, you know, whatever makes you feel comfortable, um, you know, or it could, I, worst case scenario, it could be a stranger on the street, but that's just, that's, something else um but yeah don't be afraid to talk to somebody and people make fun of you for having a therapist or for having or for the fact that you know they oh yeah well you're going to you're going to therapy or you're going to counseling blah, blah, blah. no be like yeah i do and maybe you should try sometime too <laughs> you know you should tell them like hey you know not to say that they're like don't say that they're crazy but you know but personally i'm just one of those people who's like anti-bullying and since you know since i've grown up i just loved helping people i love being with people of course, it goes into the fact where I feel like people are pushing me away sometimes because I feel like 
and this is going off topic because, you know, I, I just feel like sometimes people push me away for the fact that I want to help, but they don't want my help. Uh, but I'm just a good person that way. And it just, I don't know. I've always been that way since I was little. I've always been a helper. And so, but, you know, for everybody, for people who are being bullied, I, I just want you to know that, you know, don't be afraid to, like, speak your mind. You know, because those people who bully you, or who, you know, sorry, um, sometimes there's fireworks or but Um, those people who bully you or whatever, um, they're jealous. They are. They really are. They are, they're not good people. And I learned out the hard way. And, you know, as much as I've gotten kicked, and I've gotten erasures thrown at me, I've gotten hit in the face with a ruler once, and that was only middle school. High school is worse. High school is way worse. It's a chuckle. And it was Catholic school. Public school is so different. I went to Catholic and public school, but because I had to transfer, but either way, I hated it. Either way, it was like hell. And for those of you who are watching my videos and you bullied me, I really hope you have a good life.